I just love watching birds preen their feathers. Their flexible spines give them an incredible range of motion to reach most parts of their bodies. And then there's beaks of all different shapes and lengths. They gently and precisely move their beaks along each feather, removing dirt and debris, and realigning them into a smooth, integrated structure. Check out this sunbathing blue jay. See that little nub at the base of its tail? That's the preen gland, or uropygial gland. They rub the gland with their head or beak and then transfer the oil to their feathers when preening. Preen oil is this all-purpose magical substance that helps keep feathers waterproof. It's antibacterial, antifungal, and so much more. But there's a small percentage of birds who don't have a preen gland and instead achieve the same means using powder down. These are special down feathers that grow continuously and are never molted. The ends of this fluff disintegrate into keratin, which looks like a fine white powder. So when preening, the bird gets the powder on its beak and then distributes it to the rest of its feathers. And fun fact, powder down feathers are also known as pulvi plumes, with pulvi in Latin meaning dust or powder. On birds that have these, not every down feather on their body is a powder producer. They still have their regular down that they will molt out. And depending on the species, the powder down is either white or yellow, and it's either mixed in with regular down feathers, or there may be patches of it on certain parts of the body. Some of the birds that have powder down are pigeons and some doves, cockatoos, cockatiels, African greys, great blue herons, tinamous, and bustards. And if you've ever touched a parrot, pigeon, or dove, you're probably familiar with seeing powder on your hand afterward, or dust marks on a dark-colored shirt if the bird was up against you. I like to think of powder down as being like dry shampoo for birds. If you haven't heard of dry shampoo, well, I got some right here. It's basically a mix of things like cornstarch, baking soda, clay, and even cocoa powder. You sprinkle it onto your hair and work it in with your hand or a brush to help absorb oil and dirt in between washes. The result? Hair looks clean and fresh and you're ready to go. It's the same deal with birds who have powder down. Take great blue herons, for example. They have this wonderful adaptation called a pectinate claw. It's like having a nail that doubles as a comb as well. Not only is the claw helpful for cleaning off pond gunk, but it helps them to comb the powder along the feathers, keeping them clean, healthy, and in good condition. And in case you were wondering, not all birds who have powder down have a pectinate claw. I just wanted to mention that in case it was confusing. Powder down gives many dark-colored feathers a more muted appearance. For example, it makes the dark blue feathers on the great blue heron appear more slate blue rather than a vibrant, saturated blue. And in this black palm cockatoo, its striking black feathers would be glossy if not for the powder down making the color more charcoal. And the last thing I wanted to mention is powder prints from window strikes. Have you ever seen this before? I saw this once years ago when I was working a job downtown. There was the undeniable print of some unfortunate pigeon who flew into the mirrored glass of a building. Not all strike marks are from powder down. It could be from dirt and dust and oils, but in this case, it was a good-sized print and where pigeons were abundant. So, did you know that powder down was even a thing? Or have you ever petted a parrot and noticed a fine coating left on your hand? Feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.